Peace, peace, peace. Welcome to the Scrap and Roll MMA Podcast. I'm your host, Sky. We got your host, Damien, in the building. CJ and Jace, we are back in full effect. Another week, some more BS going on. What's up? You know, first of all, I just want to start off by saying uh, we appreciate you guys. Like, you know, there's been more traction and stuff to the pod. More people have been commenting. You know, whether it's good, whether it's bad, we're here for it all. Um, But just know that if you shoot, we shoot back. (laughs) <laughs> we ain't shooting uh, blanks right we ain't shooting blanks yeah, well no speak birds. for yourself uh, I don't got any kids you know oh, zero God. Yeah. Oh, goose man. egg uh, so yeah you know last weekend uh, it was a big weekend I would say like in the boxing space rather than inside of the MMA space um, I had put out a poll on YouTube that was asking like what are you guys going to be watching this weekend whether it was going to be uh Davis versus Garcia, the UFC fight, Bellator, or uh, there was something else that went on. I think it was one. No, 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 no. Yes, they had two events. They had two events going on. Yeah, Bellator did have two. Um, And actually, this was the first time that the boxing, that people said they were going to be watching the boxing, which was... uh, yeah, so BKFC had something on last weekend, too. So it was BKFC, Bellator, UFC, or boxing. And so boxing had 52%, UFC had 46%, Bellator had 1%, and BKFC had 1%. And I was like, dang, and the comments was going crazy. They was like, how are people, you know, like really looking at this UFC card, right? In comparison to the Bellator card, you know, they're in Hawaii. I mean, it was it was a pretty good card. You had, especially on Saturday, you had Stotts versus Patchy Mix, which was for that million dollars. And like, it's like the fan, the MMA community isn't like trying to see it. Like, I, I don't know what the disconnect is. Yeah. They're real fucking casuals. That's what it <laughs> yes, is. That Facts. is what it is. Facts. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> and, and real fast before we get into it, I just want to give a shout out to Ryan Garcia, Javante Davis, really, because when is the last time that people were more hyped for a boxing match outside of uh, Canelo way, outside of the Gypsy King or outside of Floyd? Floyd. You're right. Right. Like I had like regular fucking people ask me, you know, because I know this is what I do about, yo, like, so who you got in a fight? I was like, damn, you watching boxing? Like, not really. But like I heard about it. You know what I'm saying? So shout out for them um, for, for, for putting it out there on the line, getting people actually mm-hmm. trying to get interested back, back in boxing again. You know, boxing fucking needs. Yeah. That's yeah, a, yeah. That's a show, like, how much, how much they've been putting in to get viewers, to get eyes on them, right? Because, like you said, like, a lot of the boxing uh, fights and stuff, people aren't really keeping up with boxing like they are UFC or, like, MMA these days. But that event, to have it, like, everybody has eyes on it versus all the other stuff that's going on, that actually speaks volumes, you know? So, yeah, shout out to them. I I respect that, you know? And I also think, like you were saying, Jace, I think that's the kind of thing where people were coming together, like how we used to do back in the 90s. We're like, hey, who's going to have the fights on? And it was more than just just having the fights on. It's a fucking party at whoever's place they were watching Mm -hmm. the fights at. So that kind of reminded me of the 90s. But Mr. Casual over here, I watch one FC morning and nighttime, Bellator Friday and Saturday, UFC and the boxing. So I had a motherfucking ball this weekend, <laughs> <laughs> and it was a good time. Hey. Before we move on, but if you don't, I want to give a shout out because I know we're probably gonna zoom through some shit. Shout out to Eliminate San Diego, Tim Planet. Shout out to Liz Carmouche champion so i know we might skim through that shout out to patchy mix that knee was nasty brother so oh, yeah. we're gonna talk about that. yeah that let, was, let's talk about it <laughs> that, was silly. that was absolutely silly one thing before we move off the boxing uh well two things before we move off the boxing uh the, were you really feel the difference between uh mma and boxing was all the way up to the co-main event wasn't nobody in that arena. It was right. empty. I was terrified. Right. I was like, I thought they said they sold this out. It was mm. empty. That's just not a good look. Like when you turn on the TV and it's just like empty, like nobody's watching, you know. And then uh, another thing, you know, Jace did pick Ryan. We all went with <laughs> Tank. Um, how did what you happened? feel, Jace? How did you Damn. feel, Jace, about the body shot? Wait a second. Wait a second. CJ, I I thought you ran with Viva Mexico as well. Bro, you know I picked Tank. (laughs) 
Um, so it was probably the second best body shot that I remember watching. Uh, the first one being Bernard Hopkins, Oscar De La Hoya. Because if you go back and the watch kidney? the highlight, yes, he crumbled where, him. where he yeah. crumbled him and Oscar started pounding the fucking canvas. Like I was dead. Like, damn, bro. Um, I thought the fight was a lot closer than a lot of people said. I thought Ryan really came out there the first few rounds and was just taking control, putting it on him. He got a flash knockdown. If you don't back the fuck away, light skin. Um, Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Closer. A flash? Hey, a flash? Understand. There's a flash. Gotta, flash knockdown. Hell no. Nah. I got to give Ryan Garcia props for eating that shot and still getting up and fighting because that was the cleanest counter left yes. hand I had ever seen, bro. Pockets. And you know it came from Tank, so you know he felt that shit, right? And he just popped up and was good to go. <laughs> I was like, damn, I got to give him respect for that. So, on, on a quick but. side note, real fast, something I fucking hate about boxing, and I don't know if y'all felt this. First of all, I, I, I don't know who was in the co-main event, but that first round, KO, was fucking ridiculous. It was. But more importantly, like, the pause from the co-main to the main, like, I went, I, like, walked outside. Mm. It was, like, it was literally a solid 45 minutes. It was. Yeah, it was. for real. I feel like, like that's was. always like that. I feel like it's always because like Because they needed to get the, the, the people in because everybody was mm. outside. Yeah. Oh, oh man, nobody was in the building. That shit frustrating. I'm like, yo, man, can we move? Like, I got other shit to do. That's you know? how it was when I went to PFL. Like, after a fight would end, it was no, not kidding you, three to four minutes of them just doing nothing. And I'm like, mm. y'all not communicating on the intercom to us. Like, why are we just sitting here waiting for you to announce the person? Then after you announce it, they didn't have no in ring like mm. interviews. And then we gotta wait for the people to walk out. I was like, oh y'all gotta work yeah. on this timing. Like this this is boring as I, hell. I think that's what it is. I think they have like a schedule. And if there's back to back knockouts, they have to like fill that gap to like have it on schedule. I think that's what it is, honestly. Which I don't yeah. think it should be a thing. I feel like it should just get right back to the Hey, field, it's pay-per-view. You know? Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Warm yeah. up. I should, I should yeah. see Ryan Garcia and Tank pulling up at the co-main event. They walking in the arena. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, still getting hell? ready. But, but you know, again, shout out to Ryan Garcia as well. I know we, we all talk about this numerous times where when you catch that L, I don't want to hear about, oh, like the hydration claw. But he didn't say none of that shit. He was like, yo, he was a better man tonight. Uh, hopefully we get to run it back, you know, one day and leave it at that respect well, on the motherfucking yeah, well, name. He did bring up rats being in the camp and stuff like that. And I'm like, I was thinking to myself, like, okay, somebody's in your camp ratting or or telling them your secrets, right? That's not gonna help you take a body shot. That's not gonna help <laughs> yeah. you with the with the counter left. Like, I don't know. <laughs> they ain't man, coming my with man it. Threw that, my man threw that same counter or or the left hook like five times in a row. Didn't yeah. touch him once with that shit. He ducked under it every single time and he kept throwing it. And I was like, I don't know. Yeah. And then when he started throwing the right hand, he only threw it a couple of times. He was landing it. I don't know. It was it was it was just a little awkward, but <laughs> after he got sat down, the boy was done. The boy was done. After he got sat down, he was like, Oh, Jace, don't even play. Cause you typically see Tank. <laughs> Tank don't get started till like the fourth or fifth round. He won every single round after that. There was only two more rounds after the fifth. No, it wasn't. Went to the he won, He got knocked down in the second seven. and and yep. was not and finished in the fifth. Five rounds of him dominating. Agree to disagree. Even close. Okay. All but right. <laughs> but let's bring it back. This is an MMA podcast. Let's give uh -huh. the people what they want. Uh, well, we didn't get that last weekend either. Uh, but we did get <laughs> Sergey versus Curtis Blades. And I mean, what can we say? Sergey is the truth. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I don't really like Blade, so I was kind of happy to see him get away like that. <laughs> Everybody be shit. Why y'all be? Hey, no. Jay said he hates himself last week. <laughs> <laughs> I like listen. Hey, I'm Jay, just saying. hold on, bro. He, the way he fought last weekend, he really did hate himself, bro. Because he all like, what the <laughs> fuck was he doing? Hey, hey, real fast. Let me ask y'all this on some real shit. Um, like, 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 what, what, what was the game plan? Like, w w with his coaches, to box? that's what I've been saying. That's like, what like, I've been saying. Like, like, like was the, that in yeah, the yeah. first like 
20, 30 seconds, he did look good on the feet for Curtis. Curtis looked good. Like, he was landing some shots. I was like, oh, okay, I think he looks good. And then I started being like, oh, no, 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 no. This is not your – this can't be the game plan. <laughs> You know what I think it is? I think he's been working on his stand-up to set up his wrestling better. Mm-hmm. But with that comes the ego, where it's like, okay, like, everyone thinks I'm a wrestler. Watch, I'm about to outstrike this fool. And that's exactly what happened with Derrick Lewis. He tried. He was actually outstriking Derrick Lewis. I was like, oh, yeah. shit. And then he went in for the one takedown and, and caught some Zs. One of the <laughs> best best knockouts in the heavyweight division <laughs> ever. So I feel like, yeah, I feel like that's a detriment. Like, if you a specialist and you got to where you are by doing what you were doing, like, stick to the game plan. Don't mm-hmm. – I don't need to see nothing new. <laughs> Fact. Hey, hey, you're right. Hey, hey, new. And you know what? That's one thing you got to respect about Khabib because father's plan. He was never veering away from father's plan. You, you knew what he was coming in there to do. Mm-hmm. He wasn't going to be like – and I think that that's the main thing that, like, really messed up Islam is that like Islam kept saying that whole week, oh, I want to knock Volkanovsky mm-hmm. out, and he was veering away from the fucking plan, doing that whole ego thing. Yeah. All right, but um, but yeah, how'd you guys real quick? How'd you guys feel about Bobby Green, Bobby Green versus Jared Gordon? Oh, uh, I got a special place in my heart for Bobby Green because he was actually yeah. at one of my street beat fights. Yeah, watched me win, so like that was a whole special moment. Super cool dude. We actually went and got food right afterwards. Oh, him and his up. little. Yeah, him and his little homie that he was actually there to support. We went out and, and we got food together and stuff. So I was chopping it up with him. And I I really liked Bobby Green. And to see that whole that whole thing transpire, I don't know how I feel about it because I'm also kind of like biased, you know. Although watching the replay, it did look like he was trying to do the lead elbow. He was. Like the little, he was. You know what I mean? And caught his. And it is the fight game, like shit gonna happen, right? Dude wasn't sleep after that shit landed. He was still conscious. He was still aware. It dropped him. So I gotta say that, which ultimately led to him taking a nap. But I don't know, man. Like I feel like they shouldn't have done that to Bobby Green to, to make it a no contest like that. Because if he would have got caught with something, I guarantee you the win would have went to Gordon. It would have been no. <laughs> no contest would have been thrown out the window. It would be like, oh, yeah, homeboy won. You know what I mean? And I feel like I saw a fight recently where they clashed heads. Oh, I can't I can't put my finger on it. Chris on Curtis it versus Kelvin Gastelum. Yeah, oh, two, was week, that two it? weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Yeah, they, they clash heads. Oh, <laughs> yeah. that mm-hmm. and, and Exactly. And look what happened. Yep. Curtis well, lost the I, fight. They... They're trying to keep the black man down. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. They're trying to keep the black man down. Oh. <laughs> yeah, hey, you... finally, it's not me. <laughs> 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 oh, man. I'm telling you. Um, I think I think the right thing was done because it was a head clash. I think that, you know, just like with judging, it needs to be more consistent. Yeah. Um, people was like trying to come for me on the internet. Um, because I was talking about, cause in that moment, if you go back, Paul Felder is like really close friends and training partners with Jared Gordon. And so he's all screaming. Right. And so Paul Felder goes, like he says out loud, which is his mic probably should have been on mute, but he says out loud, I am calm because the producers in his ear was like, Hey, calm down, like tone it down. So he says, I am calm. So uh, Bobby Green was on Ariel Hawani show and was talking about how like um, you know how emotional Paul Felder was and how he was just like not being professional and so I was like commenting on that on like one of these posts or whatever and these two dudes were just just hopped on just being super stupid and disrespectful but like my thing is, is that like um, from Bobby's point of view he's thinking that he got a knockout he's thinking that he won mm-hmm. then all of a sudden it's like no it's a no contest so you're not getting paid your full bag so I understand why he's upset of course he's not upset with Jared Gordon because Jared isn't the officiants and shit like that right. but at the same time like it's a crappy situation either one of them getting a whole full paychecks and um and at the end of the day like these were these um judges uh even if you're a commentator y'all gonna be held accountable by these people like you get on there you start doing shit like that and and screaming and advocating behind the you you can't do that you just can't nah, you can't so yeah uh w- one other thing about this fight card how do you pronounce her name Ismin lucindo she looked amazing that sounds it. That sounds listen about it. she looked listen, amazing i'm telling y'all right now 
she was on that San Diego card and had an amazing fight. Um, I can't remember who she fought, but she had an amazing uh, fight. With... She fought Jasmine Yagiri. Okay. Oh my God. And that's another oh, yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. That's another one that you got to keep your eye out for. Like, yeah, Yagiri. Female in like women's MMA is is coming up, y'all. Like it, it, the the talent pool is getting much better. These like her specifically, she, really, Jace. That's how you feel. Keep going. No, no. <laughs> if you disagree, we'd like to know. Oh, I adamantly disagree. But I want you to finish your tangent before I <clears throat> retort. No, go ahead. Uh, sure, I mean, sure. generally speaking, I feel like women's MMA, not all, is just sparring matches. That that's so funny that you bring that up because I was actually about to bring up that point that people really don't mess with women's MMA and I don't understand why like because that's some of my favorite like I love women's MMA <laughs> I don't get it it's like one side or the other side right either people love it or they hate it and the majority of people that I've been speaking with actually hate women's MMA and I don't understand why is it because there's less knockouts or finishing opportunities because I feel like that's not true. I've seen plenty of women knockouts. I've seen plenty of women tap out. So like, what? Is I, know, I mean, I know I, I, I've, I've women tapped women. like three women out personally, but <laughs> um, I think for me, it's, just, <laughs> um, I think for me, it's just uh, a bit slower. And again, don't get me wrong. I do enjoy certain women in MMA, you know what I mean? But I think overall, I, I, sorry, l let me clarify this point before the haters come for my neck. They've been coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, the issue with women's MMA is one, there's not enough finishing. And I believe <laughs> two, <laughs> well, that's what I'm more known for. And then two, um, the, the there's just a talent gap of, you know, it's kind of like the 185 division. You know, there's like one or two people who you're can't wait for it, clamoring to see. And then, like, you know, you got a Marvin Vittori in there. He's like, what am I doing with my life right now? Like, what am I watching? You know, what what am I going to eat right now? Like, my mind just drifts off half the time. So, I, I love women's MMA. But I also agree with what you're saying. I know what you're saying, Jace. So, when you're watching the undercard of a fight, the, the talent level is not as high as you watching a Valentina, Amanda... Karo, Zhang. So it's, it's kind of sloppy, uh, laying and praying a little bit or just holding up against a cage a little bit. The athleticism is not up to par with the top tier of the girls. Uh, I, I see what you're saying, but I love to watch the women's MMA. And for the casual crowd, it probably could be the worst thing they've ever seen in their life. But also, there's a lot of men fight that look the same exact way, but we don't... We and just, throw him out. And, out and while you're now. on that, the prime example, Muhammad Usman versus oh. Nunya Taffa. Big one, baby. Of the, one of the worst MMA fights I've ever seen in the UFC. Period. Yeah. It was insane to watch. It happens. It Muhammad happens. Usman striking has to be top tier the worst. Top tier the worst <laughs> striking in the UFC. Did you guys see him with his head down striking like this? I mean, I've been in a barroom brawl once or twice, but notice there's no scars on these face. None. Uh, I, I, so while I hear, uh, and I do hear and understand exactly what you're saying, mm -hmm. well, but I think what I'm saying is I think for a long time that really was true. And that was the narrative as far as like women's MMA. Uh, but I do see that there are new uh women that are coming in like that you might yeah. not necessarily know about like i'm telling you guys may 20th once again once again natalie silva last time mm -hmm. i told y'all about her she's back yep. may 20th same girl spinning back kick to the head knock the chick out like this girl is vicious uh say her name again yagira yagiri yagiri jasmine yagiri jasmine yagiri nasty this mm -hmm. chick is been Lucindo nasty. Like there are some nasty chicks that are newer to the UFC that are coming up that are absolutely amazing. And I think one other thing that I know that um uh, CJ will definitely agree on is that like, and I think even Damien has talked about it before that like, if you watch one and oh. you see the females oh, in yeah. one, oh, like yeah. they're a different breed. That's different. And I guess that's the point I'm trying to make again. Don't, you know, I support my, my women a thousand percent. Um, 
I think the the women's MMA now, you know, just because it started later than the guys, right? So I would equate to the women's MMA now to the early UFC days, you know what I mean? Where mm -hmm. people just stayed in their specialized field. So you got a lot more lay and pray, you know what I mean? Um, where they haven't really caught up to been more well-rounded besides obviously a handful of people. So I do think in five years from now, you know, because the guys had such a head start, then it will be more, you know, uh, all around competitive fights as opposed to just the three or four, you know, people who we know are the three or four up and comers. Yeah. I, yeah. I think that's, yeah. I think that's the point right there is because as we're watching these women fight, we actually like scouting who has the talent, who's going to make it up there and, you know, maybe fight, uh, uh, McKenzie Dern or, or someone like that, you know, because they actually like I've been watching the women's MMA and I've been scouting some of these females who've been doing pretty well. But I'm like, oh, shit, like she could actually hang like, yeah. you know, you guys were you guys were talking about me, Ball Molly, because she in there to fight. Right. Like, you know, but I also I said I, I was going against her. Y'all were going for her. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. I was like, uh, like, yeah, I feel like she goes for it, but I don't feel like she really has the talent. And then she lost to uh, Aaron old, old Blanchfield. girl. Yeah, yeah. Blanchfield. Aaron's a oh, killer. Exactly. I fuck with her. Exactly. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, that's like, what I'm saying. It'd be it's fights like that. Like, yeah. you'd be seeing the talent there. You'd be like, oh, shit. Like, yeah. I gotta keep my eye on her now. Yeah. You know, it, but for it's the fun longest, and exciting to me. Yeah, but for yeah. the longest, because we have just kind of use like the women's MMA kind of just use it like pastime. Like I remember one time specifically I was on the phone with Jason. I was like, oh, there's like a women's MMA fight about to come on. Like I'm about to take a nap. Like I'm about to, I needed to go do something. <laughs> and that fight ended within like a minute's time. And I was like, holy shit. Like, wait a minute. Like they really yeah. coming out here. So I think because like, we've kind of just like, haven't put too much attention on it that like now that like I'm watching, I'm seeing these girls coming up. I'm like, Oh, that narrative is slowly changing. Like, and there are some mm -hmm. people that's coming in there to be like, Hey, and you got to think about it within the UFC. They just hit 10 years, March, <clears throat> excuse me, in March, they just hit 10 years of having women in the UFC. So now these girls, oh. you know, are that have been training are now starting to come up. The talent's only going to get better. I think like, even like Jay said earlier, like in the beginning part of the UFC, like there was like, you could get away with just being like big and out of shape and winning fights. You, you know what I mean? Get yeah. you with a bigger dude. But you know, like the skills rising. Um, another great fight that happened this weekend was Bellator. Uh, uh, real fast before we move on, just a quick shout out to that crazy ass motherfucking Gina Carano. Bro, um, why you steal my shit? I was just about to say that. <laughs> I love Gina. Oh, be, you know. Before we go, before we go, oh, go say what you're about to say, Jason. Oh, that was it. Just a real shout out to, you know, because she was the first yes. women's MMA superstar on the scene. Gina Carano was going out there fucking people world up on, uh, what was that, Elite XC, I believe. Elite XC and Strike Force. So thank you for saying that, my yeah. good brother, because every time they everybody <laughs> spits this Ronda, this Ronda, this Ronda, and me and my girl Momo, we always have to go back to Gina Carano because she is one of the pioneers of this women's fight game. Cyborg is one of the pioneers of this this fight game before she came around. So thank you, my good brother Jace, because I was just about to say her name. Say That's my name. Too. Say my name. I was just about to bring up Ronda Rousey and how I was glad that she retired because I feel like she wouldn't be able to hang. <laughs> I feel like she did the right move and just bounced. Oh, facts. <laughs> Hundred percent facts. Um, this Rafian Stotts versus Patchy Mix fight. I want like going into it. I was just really going for Stotts because. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can we just take for a second and say that uh, your boy um, Mix kind of his photo kind of looks like uh, the memes we get now with Hezbollah for everybody. <laughs> I can see Hezbollah's <laughs> face right there. <laughs> I can they see his like, lost face they right there. Got, they got like his picture when he was like uh, 10 years old. Like, why like is it? <laughs> um, what a fight. I, I don't know if, if y'all seen the knockout, but definitely make sure that you go and you check it out. Within a minute, yeah. nasty, nasty knee knockout. Like, it, like no telegraph, nothing. Sent Rafi on to a different universe. And I was like, Oh, damn. And this was right after the tank fight. So I'm like, all right, cool. Like, this is all working out perfectly. I can watch this. See what's mm -hmm. going to happen? Boom. Over. I was like, okay. My whole combat night was over at 930 Pacific time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
knockout of the year. Knockout of the year. I I was going to say that too, Jace. It's up there. You know, we gotta gotta put it on there. That's number one so far. That was that was nasty. Sent this motherfucker to Narnia. Where is the wardrobe, my guy? Not even the lead knee. It was the back knee. Just stepped into it. Just bow. Good night. Good you know it's, it, you know what sucks because I was hoping for a, a better fight because those two guys are you know very very yeah. good athletic guys mm-hmm. and as soon as because you because my stream was a little bit late Sky was like oh that knockout I was like fuck what what you were like just the oh. knee oh no I was like what the fuck uh, <laughs> but I was you shot me I was like I don't give a fuck shit it's okay and I was just waiting I was waiting I was like oh god that was nasty but it you know Patchy is that dude great grappling. Now he got nasty striking too. Woof. He's a bro, beast. That's, bro, having good grappling sets up your strike so well. Yes. So well. It, it, it's actually incredible. And I feel like more people should like people like Jorge Masvidal, people like <laughs> just right re- just regular like sh- people that are known as strikers, just start grappling. Just like, all right, nigga, you like you str- you've learned striking. You've done that your whole life. <laughs> put that on the back burner now and like just go grapple and i feel like if people respect their grappling it's gonna set up your striking even more uh, yeah that, it'd be it'd be little things like that because then you could fake it and then they're gonna you know go yep. to sprawl and then you catch them with a knee or an uppercut or pretty much anything because you know what yeah. they're gonna do <laughs> yeah so yeah that yeah i feel like people should do that more yeah, but, you know, Bellator had, it, it was a solid card. It really was. They had two nights back-to-back. Um, it was a solid card. So, we have already went over the boxing, Bellator, everything like that. This weekend, this card, we not about to spend much time over here, y'all. I'm going to tell you that right now. Like, and as far as, I ain't even going to lie to y'all. I'm watching the co-main and the main event this weekend. That's it. The rest of it, I'm going to catch the highlights <laughs> and watch it be a banger. Watch it be a banger. Who, who's but like, the co-main on there? I'm sorry, I can't see because it's um, good on mine. His name is, I cannot say his name right, but it's Kyle. Uh, he He's the wish version of Paula Costa. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know he, looks like a mix of, <laughs> he looks like a mix of Paulo Costa and Big, Bigfoot Silva just had a yes, baby together. <laughs> exactly, yes. This is him. Um, he's Identifiers. From the, he's from the Contender wow. Series. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he's lost a fight since he's been like in the UFC because he won his first contender series fight, but he was kind of like way too cocky and Dana didn't like it, like because he didn't go for the finish. He was just kind of like yeah. trying to win the fight, and then they brought him back on later on in the season. He won, and so yeah, he's on a three fight winning streak here in the UFC. Um, and he's cool. Like you know, he's super super uh Connor fan. Likes to come out in that same like karate type stance. Um, I'm just watching it because of him. And then Song Yadong versus Ricky like Simone. <clears throat> That's yes. my mama's favorite Yadong. fighter. Yeah. Oh, Song <laughs> Yadong. Song Yadong. Favorite fighter. I like Song Yadong. That's my yeah. boy. You like I'm always you, for that fool. You, you you like what? I didn't hear you. Song. Don't. Yeah, dong. Yeah. <laughs> you like my dong. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, who y'all got? Ricky or Song? Ooh, Ricky Simone a beast though. Low key. I know. Shit. But I like Song Yadong. I'm gonna go I'm gonna this I'm I'm gonna go Yadong. I feel like this is gonna be the one that, that like turn the tide that like make us realize like oh shit, Yadong really is that guy, you know? So yeah, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go Yadong. What about you, CJ? Yeah, I think I'm going Song, too. He just fought a little bit better competition, win or lose. Mm-hmm. I think I'll go Song. He's super young, athletic, throws hard. But you know, like you said, Ricky's a dog, too. He had Marab looking crazy. Facts. Yeah. <clears throat> I like Song with the finish. Mm. Mm. Good call. So that's three Uh-oh. of them. Who you guys got? Oh, is it unanimous? <laughs> Nah, I'm gonna go left on you. <laughs> <laughs> Something in me is saying that hey, like we slipping on Ricky because, like you said, you know, uh, Song has had the better competition, and he is coming off that loss with um, Sanhagen. Corey Sanhagen. Um, you know, so who knows? Ricky, he he he's really good at mixing in that wrestling. He's really good at mixing that up. Um, uh, and. I don't know why, but I, I want to see him win. I, I want to mm-hmm. see him win. I, I think that's really what it is. Like, I want to see uh, 
but I'm not going to be mad at all. I think it's going to be a banger of a fight. Uh, if I had, if I was actually betting money, I definitely would probably go with Song. But like, I like Ricky, <clears throat> I like Ricky, and I like the fact that he he can mix in that wrestling. And um, yeah, you know, we'll see. Rick and Bobby, Rick yeah, and the Bobby, well, the, the well-rounded fighters seem to do the best. So. Facts. We'll see. Oh, I got Song, yo. <laughs> that oh. boy be throwing heat. <laughs> He does. <laughs> He's nasty. He's nasty. Um, I seen him, I think, uh, on the Max Holloway versus Jair card. He was on there and got a vicious knockout on there as well. Um, but I think last before we left last week, we talked about the potential. Oh, I had brought up the potential of Robert Whitaker taking on Dupussy. And oh, yeah. that has now been announced. Taking on um, who? Dupussy. Yeah, you heard me. <laughs> Dupussy. The not S whoa. is not silent. Not <laughs> the the S. Pussy. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, the Reaper's about to pound the pussy. I mean, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> whoa. Yeah, no whoa. Sure he's even getting that shot at the Reaper like that. Hey. That's a massive jump. And then you know, they announced a lot of upcoming fights um, recently that are super, super exciting. Your boy Jack Delamelo. Jack Della Maddalena's taking on Sean Brady. I'm like, so he wanted the top 15. Now he's getting the top 15. Um, there's a lot of big moves that are taking place. How do you guys feel about um, the pussy versus Whitaker? I was going to say, I think that's a big jump, a big leap in, in competition for this man, honestly. <laughs> Going up the Reaper like that? Oh, nah, bro. I got the Reaper all day. I, I, would, I won't bet against him, especially against somebody that's what is he like ranked number like six or seven now? Uh he's five right six. now, I think. Six. Oh, okay. Is he? Did they move him? Let's pull it up. Let's see. He might be six. He might be six. They still yeah. got him. Yeah, he's at six. Trick is at six. Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, I got the Reaper all day, every day. I, I, I feel like Robert Whitaker could beat Alex Pereira. Yeah. Even if he was the champ. You know what I mean? So yeah, I got the Reaper all day. What do you think, Jace? Um, I'm not sure yet. Let me think about it. Let me think about it. That fight is coming. When is that fight coming, Sky? Uh, that fight's gonna be on, I think, International Fight Week. Yep, international okay. international fight week. That ain't stacking this bitch. When is that? Let me it's in July, July eighth. July I gotta talk to you after that. Um, but I got a lot of shit for this fight personally. Like, I think Robert's gonna win the fight. He's just better than him. You know what I'm saying? Period. But the hater in me wants Driquez Duplessis to win. So he can get beat up. So he can get beat up. I want Driquez to win. First of all, because everybody just be like, he ain't got no chance. He ain't got no chance. I just love the science when a motherfucker just beats another person that they think that can't win. But I also want him to get a shot at the motherfucking last style bender. That's it. That's plain and simple. But is he going to do it? Probably not. I don't think so. Rob probably going to wear his ass out. Probably. More than likely going to wear his ass out. And I, and I feel like Rob K TKO's him with his signature one two, one, high two kick. head kick. Yep. Nah, like, like, bro. If you knock someone out again with that shit, <laughs> listen, <laughs> because Marvin kept falling for that. And I'm like, Marvin, the cat, uh, right. the most casual fan of all. No, no, this is Robert Whitaker's yeah. number one move. And you just, he was getting pieced up with it. Like, what are we doing? Y'all didn't watch no film, no tape, no nothing. Like, just... like, and we know Robert got a lot of film too. Like a yeah. lot. Of film. Like go back and fucking do your homework, bro. For real, for real. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they also announced uh Marvin Vittori versus Jared Cannonier. That's mm. gonna be so slow. Both of them yeah. <laughs> going so slow. I like, like Jared, bro. Like now nah, they Jared. cool, they cool, but they're Fighting but styles together. are like god damn molasses. Really? Yeah, hell yeah. I, I, I am going to assign that fight the the always classic limp dick on prom night. Nah, I think y'all <laughs> tripping. I think y'all overlooking it, honestly. Because nah. Jared comes to fight. I feel like Jared comes to fight. I really? feel like you I feel he like fight strictly slow ass too. I feel like you basing him off of his last couple fights, but that I've Nah, I, I that's all we could do. That's all we could do. What else am I gonna base you off of? You feel me? What else? 
once he got to the top, he been being a little bit more careful and shit. I feel like against someone like Marvin, I feel like he gonna knock that nigga out for real. So. Marvin about to dry hump the fuck out of him. He 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 about to hit so. him. He about to hit him with the fucking thirteen year old. I don't know how to fuck, but I'm gonna dry hump you right now. You know what I'm saying? I don't think so. <laughs> I got Jared. I got Jared. Jared got that. Nah, and he's out of Arizona. Nah, yeah, I got Jared. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah, so there's some good fight cards that are coming up. But uh, next week we'll definitely dive into Muhammad versus Bala. I mean, Muhammad versus Burns because that's interesting. I think it's interesting how much shit y'all talk about Bala Muhammad. Yeah, y'all were clamoring at the bitch for him and Burns to save the card. That's real funny. Like nobody likes him. He's so boring. But everybody's like, oh, please save the card. Save please the card. Save the card. Yeah. Like how he how he gonna save the card? He's so boring. Like y'all so. Y'all so funny on this internet. Um, But also this weekend, uh, they're going to have Mike Perry versus Luke Rockhold and Bare Knuckle Mm. uh, fighting. Do y'all watch BKFC? I do. As as much as possible. Like, if I know a song, I'll tune in. If somebody lets me know a song, if I could find a stream, I'll watch that shit. That shit be brutal. Real quick, I I wanted to mention this. I actually saw Bilal Muhammad when I used to work at this place uh, that's in, uh, like, uh, like mid Wilshire area out here in LA, I used to work on the top floor, and there was a, a I think it was called Cobrina, like, uh, like, uh, it's Cobrina Jiu Jitsu. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 they got a couple places out here in Vegas, and he was in there training. I, I saw him like outside and shit when I went to, to take my break. And I didn't remember his name. That was before, <laughs> the, nickname came. That was before the nickname came. <laughs> Come on. Like, hey, that is know. hilarious. Hey, I don't I don't <laughs> blame you. This Yo, that's so, crazy. This, <laughs> this motherfucker is so boring. His mama forget his name sometimes, you know. It's he's, funny too, because I, I actually went into that, I went into that gym, the Cobrino one, and it actually had um some high level fighters like pictured on the wall that'll be fighting out of that gym in LA. Mm-hmm. Uh and I can't oh fuck I can't think of his name. He don't fight these who nuts uh, nigga you think, I, you think I was gonna set you up that easy bump said spike come on now stop uh, playing it, it was it was the dude that like came out with like a, a jump in front kick. Uh, I can't think of his name right now. It was, he's a heavyweight fighter Brazilian Oh, uh, Fabricio Verdum. Yeah. Yeah, Verdum. Yeah. yeah, it was Verdum. Verdum. He was all like all on the wall, like they were like mm. celebrating him. And for them, I was like, oh, top damn. Of- so a lot of people like train at that gym, apparently, you know what mm. I mean? Like top level fighters. So I thought that was pretty fucking cool that that was right underneath me at the place that I was working. So yeah, anyways. Yeah. Yeah. One thing I will say is that like Jason and I have been to a couple of events and, um, he 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 does keep the same energy. Like I went over there, I w- I wanted to take a picture with Bilal. Cause like I said, I had never had no problem with Bilal. And we was all waiting there, and this man would not go and take no picture with Bilal. <laughs> he was like, I don't fuck with that dude. I don't like him. He's boring. Hey, he would not take him. <laughs> hey, I That's keep one hundred on and off the camera. Like I if, if I see Kobe, I'm be like, what? Like I'm not about to go shake that nigga hand, bro. Like at oh, all. God. Like at all, right, bro. At all. And I, that's I, I, what I, that's the difference between real people and the other people. They'll talk all this shit and then they're gonna run up. Hey man, can I take a picture with yeah. you, man? Hell yeah. no, I don't mess with yeah. you. You can keep it pushing, man. Yeah, no facts. Jace was like, nah, I ain't going over there. I'm good. I'm, I'm it's all good. Right Wait, okay, I, I want to ask y'all now though, like <sighs> who who would you run into like that and be like, nah, I ain't fucking with Daryl. If there was like, you want to take a picture real quick with me? Who would you say yeah, no to? I'm not Drinking, fucking with Kobe. Kobe. <laughs> Sean Strickland. I'm cool. Sean Strickland, all of them. Yeah. yeah, weird energy. I can't fuck yeah. with it, man. Curtis yeah. Blades. Mm. <laughs> yeah, Leave bro to... alone. Leave bro. <laughs> hey, that same day we seen Jamal Hill, but like this was obviously before Jamal. Uh, this was that uh, whatever the Thug one Rose. was. With, yeah, Thug uh, Rose and uh, Oliveira and yeah. Uh, Justin. Yeah. I was just watching that card. Yeah, why? <laughs> you didn't watch the Rose fight, did you? No, no, hell no. Oh, Come on, <laughs> that's the that's the fight you put on when you're ready to go to sleep, like Alex Pajeda. That <laughs> like Alex Pajeda. <laughs> oh man, hey, hey, hey! Did y'all see that clown real quick? Did y'all see that clown? Um, Chase. 
Mordor oh, or something like that. The one like that was boxing? The boxing yeah, guy? Yeah, so no, he, no, he, he's from... He, too hot he, to he, yeah, he's from Too Hot to Handle and Perfect Match. Shout and out. Perfect Match, yeah. You know, uh, full disclosure. Was he on I'm, those I'm shows? Into, yes. Yes. He, remember the dude that had the cockroach come jump on his head? That's him? Yo. That's him. Hold on, I'm he sorry. I, got, short hair. I don't mean to... I, will, I was about to talk to my girl because we be... Yeah. Bro yes. said, I'm the, I'm the roach boy forever. Yeah. So that was him that was fighting? That's him. Oh, okay. Have you seen Perfect Match? Yeah, you know, right. me, okay. me and Jay's right. be in the bullshit. <laughs> no, you, I be in the bullshit too. Listen, hey, have you ever seen any of these shows, Damien? Nah, Perfect. Oh, it, Netflix. That sounds like a reality okay. show. It yeah, is. Yeah. Fucking yeah. light skins. It's, a, it's, whoa, it's whoa, some whoa, love. Whoa, whoa. I watched... I watched I watch motherfucker. I love New York and, 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 and like back not the day. original. He talked yeah, about the like original the reality day. show. Uh, hey, hey, we going off the hey, we going off the rails. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, right, let's, all right, let's bring it back. back. Let's bring it back. Oh, the reason shit. why I brought that up is because he was boxing and your man's just lost his damn mind. The dude gets knocked down. And once again, this is boxing. Your boy proceeds to just continue to give him four or five pieces while he's on the ground. The ref is trying to jump in like, hey, I don't know where you think you are, but like that can't happen. So that was the same event that your boy. Uh, so that's who Nate Diaz threw the water bottle at. At the light Chase. Shit. Yes, oh. when Nate Diaz threw the water bottle. Damn. That's also who he was out there fighting with in the street. Except the, the Logan Paul lookalike was the one that got slapped. Wait, Listen, wait, 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 can we, yes. the whole fucking story, chronological can, order can, 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 can we just talk about how whoever this motherfucker is doesn't even have a name? Everyone just says, oh, the Logan Paul look like, like, no one knows this dude's name. I don't know. I don't know this dude's name. All I do is saw him legitimately sleep, sleep. Hey, on the New Orleans streets, too. Ooh, that's Ugh. gross. That's yes. gross. <laughs> Shout out to <laughs> Nate Diaz. <laughs> Fast. Fast. Wait, wait, wait. Are we praising Nate Diaz for this, though? No, yeah. Nate Diaz is innocent. <laughs> Hashtag free Nate. Nate's hey, innocent. Until, it, until it's backwards. Hell yeah. <laughs> hey, everybody. In 4K. Everybody know, don't pull up on Nate. Don't oh, pull God. up on Nate with that bullshit. he don't give a fuck who Real you are. One. The yeah, smoke man. will come. He don't I feel like Real he I thought it was merciful to just choke somebody out. He could have bop, 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 bop. He could have yeah, put he hands on him. He, he put him in a nice little gu guillotine. You, you good? Know, he, he let him drop, you know, but, mm -hmm. you know, hey, back up off me. <laughs> he hey, might want to raise I, his legs. I, I, can't, I can't let you get that close to me. Shout out can't to the chill. I was just about to say, but that's kind of that's kind of the rules of the street, though. Why are you pressing no, him is. like that? It's like, nah. you he know he's up. a fighter. Like, come on, that's a, that's on all on you, man. I know and Nate gonna get what? in trouble for that shit, but it's like, yo, that's some self defense. I don't know what, what you got on you. The mm. Logan Paul lookalike. The story gets deeper. <laughs> he is. He has multiple amateur MMA fights. Does? He has. Oh, he's oh, yeah. boxed. He. Oh, he's. Yeah. I think he's like a brown, some blue belt, maybe blue belt in jujitsu. Like he's. And he so, didn't fight the hands. <laughs> Man didn't, man didn't do nothing. Man didn't sleep. Got put to sleep on a standing guillotine. Listen, there's levels to this. There's nice. a difference between a black belt and a fucking uh, blue belt. You know, especially a legitimate black belt. Nate Diaz is top of the food chain MMA. You know, mm -hmm. jujitsu. Like, yeah. You know, he made it look casual, like he was casual. Hey, <laughs> little brother, calm like, down, little brother. Oh, I fuck it, like, man. When I latch this here and I put this behind your head, go ahead and try to get out of that. Oh, you <laughs> can't? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought so. <laughs> but, you know, uh, on a real quick side note, I guess your boy Chase, after he got willy willy lumped up with the raccoon eye, he was like, he he wants Nate the, to, to give Nate the smoke in a, in a boxing match. Yeah. I think he'll beat the fuck out of Nate Diaz in a boxing match. Why? Because he's bigger? Did you see his technique? He is significantly bigger than Nate Diaz. He is. I think he's like 6'5", but he's he's a fucking goofy. I think he's 6'7". After he Damn. illegally hits, after about? he illegally hit that dude in the boxing match, he then pulls out the Izzy and does the arrow. I gotta, wait. He I gotta did that too? 
Yes, after I gotta pull this up because it, it was wild. It was wild this weekend, y'all. And, 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 and what? Even night, some YouTube dude. And, and why you, she's pulling that up? I love Chase on the reality show. I fuck with this dude. You know, cockroach I Chase. I did not know that was bro, man. Yes. Because <laughs> I seen the clip and I was like, all right, there was like this some star, whatever, whatever. I didn't put two and two together at all. Now it's it, now it's even more funny. Like, what? The <laughs> Damn, I'm exactly. sad that I didn't notice. Yeah, you said, that's listen. wow. He a fuck Nate up. Nate's too small in a real just a pure boxing match. Nate is too small. But well, MMA, they would, they would they would be at a certain weight though, right? They would be, oh. they would they would come together and meet at a weight. I sh- so he's either six five or six six. So he played tight end. Yeah, uh, D one. Yes, 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 uh, yes. Two hundred. And and he was at <laughs> the the University of Washington. So like a legitimate D one school. It wasn't like he was at Northwest Southeast Georgia Baptist A and T State. You feel me? <laughs> like this is a legitimate. NFL prospect style body, like nah. Yeah, and that's that's this athleticism being six five, six six, whatever. It don't fucking matter. That's huge. Huge that now, body. Now in a street fight, Nate 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 beat the brakes off that nigga, but just on a pure boxing match, nah, it ain't too small, bro. So before he beat the dude, the guy he was boxing with, like, how did it go? Because I just seen the last clip of him just punching him while he was down. Did he look okay boxing? I no, didn't watch he's it. Goofy. Okay, okay. I'm about to pull it up right now. It was just goofy. He looked like a regular dude out there throwing hands. <sighs> well, I mean, I don't know. I'm a regular dude, but I throw yeah. these hands, these paws, you know. <laughs> His face is still beautiful after all these street fights. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Holla right. at me. I'm going to show this real quick. So the little knockdown about to happen. Wait, so who are we looking at here? Who is who? The light, the light so the skin. Big, <laughs> Look the at big the light, light skin. skin dude that faces <laughs> more. And then Stevie Knight is, is some other dude. He's about to knock him out. And then he's going, you'll see. It's a small ass ring. Super. Hell or yeah. they get some big tiny. boys. <laughs> is nah, that ring do big? look tiny, though. All right, cool. <laughs> yeah, it do look small as hell. Right? Look at him. Where are you? Where are you at? Throwing them extra balls. Now watch this. This man been watching too much MMA. Look at how oh, stupid yeah. he looks. Right away went to that. I show. think it's dope. I think it's dope. Nah. Come on, bro. Come on. You, you think that's cool? Nah, you swear yeah. that? Yeah. No. Hey, 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 hey. You style on somebody? Style on somebody. You he feel didn't me? even do it right. Oh. Make His whole <laughs> mannerisms was, was like <laughs> he looked goofy doing it. It was not. It was not Izzy. It's, hey, that boy Izzy fly. I don't care what nobody said. That boy Izzy fly. <laughs> I, I saw him do like a remix with a Fortnite over it, <laughs> where he did a little emo afterwards. Mm. I was like, oh, that shit is so dope because it was like picture perfect, like straight out of a video game. Right. And then he broke the shit. Oh, that was one of the coldest celebrations ever. Facts, yeah. Facts. But you know, so yeah, Nate was in his bag. There was a whole bunch going on, but I think CJ got a couple questions for us. I just got one, through. like this one quick little question. So if you can go, not even back in history, if you can have one MMA moment that you can be there in the building or go relive, what moment would you go to? MMA, not just UFC, like anything. Like what would you go want to be in the building and you got the best seats in the motherfucking house you can see everything clearly. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go, go first so I can get this over with because you already know where I'm going. I'm going January 15, 2021. I'm the best box in the UFC, baby. Let's go. Ooh. Damn. Oh, that's that's that date. Date's in the building. She got the right. whole motherfucking date. <laughs> <laughs> what you got, yeah. Damien? Me, I'll probably go back, like back, back. Like nobody even knows what this shit looking like. I'm, I'm talking about like Bruce Lee era. Ooh. Out there and shit. I'll probably That's want different. to pull up and see that shit because he kind of like set the bar to motherfuckers being like, I want to be like this guy. You know what I mean? I- I'll probably go like back to the Bruce Lee era. I think Bruce Lee get fucked up in real life. Um, Man, this is a, a tough question. 
part of me wants to say like UFC one, just because no one really Ooh. knew what to expect, you know, and UFC one back in the day, nigga, that wild shit was times, wild wild times. Time. I, I encourage every <laughs> single fan Please to go do. watch UFC one and go watch the first ever fight where the dude gets his front teeth knocked out. Like right. that shit is brutal. I'm but um, they didn't grab baseball bats from underneath the mat and start swinging. <laughs> facts. Yeah, no bars hold, man. That's but the definition of that. If I had to pick an actual MMA moment, uh, one thousand percent, Connor Jose. Oh, I could only God. imagine, you know, just because the electricity going into that fight was was so huge, so big. You know, but I, mean? I, feel, I feel what you're saying too. Yeah, I feel it because like, we were all waiting for something like a good oh, scrap, and we're just man. like, damn, what the fuck? Nah, I'm what? weak because he said it was so huge, it was so big, and then CJ Pause. goes, Yeah, I feel that. I feel oh, that. hell no, nah. <laughs> she would have put that in the fucking blooper clip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Hell no, nah. hell no, nah. hell no, nah. yo. <laughs> But if I had a moment I would want to go back to just to see a certain point, I would want to go back to the Rampage uh Ricardo Arona slam. Boom! Ooh. Power bomb. Power Pure bomb. Power, nothing but straight power. I want to be in the front row seeing, looking up because he was losing that fight until that moment. He That was probably one of the craziest things I've ever seen. Sky, can, can we bring that up real fast? Yeah. Was that, was that when he was trying to get him in the arm bar or something? Uh, I think it was in a triangle, oh, triangle. armbar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that was the... nothing but pure power. Rampage was gassing out. He was getting beat up, and that's one of the craziest things I've. And I seen that shit live. I don't even know how I seen it live. Well, I didn't even have cable at the time, and internet was <laughs> trash. But I seen it. But I would mm -hmm. go back and watch that live. To be in that building at that time was probably amazing to see that. I'd have been hey. afraid that he would die, <laughs> bro. That's dope. You yeah. remember back in the day, like when somebody would come out and like do something to the green box in order for you to get cable? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's that, probably how you watch that. That's probably how you watch that. Hell That's yeah. That's probably how you watch mm -hmm. that. Should I in a black market pull up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or you just th try to throw your cable man a hundred bucks. You know, I remember that, trying that to. Little box. <laughs> Trying to watch a little squig. <laughs> I was watching the Spice channels on the fucking squiggly boy. Line. You a wild <laughs> boy. <laughs> Is that uh, a nipple right there? Let's see the let's see the slam. It's coming up. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this yeah, I, I this is here. unreal. Here we go. What a power bomb looks like in real life. A real life power Done. bomb. You're right. Done. 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 Cancel Christmas. Bro, your baby boy's not making it home. Bro done. took him on a roller coaster. Damn. Baby's done. He's gone. Like, he no, gone. no follow ups needed. It's a wrap. No super it's necessary or nothing. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I mean those are some. Those are some dope events to go back to. But I think that's a wrap. Oh, hold on. Before we go, yeah. next week, next week, your boy CJ will be. In Colorado, watching DJ, Little Cash Casual, Momo's, uh, MMA Momo 619. We will be in Denver. I don't want DJ to retire, but if I'm in the building and he does, that will be a super special moment for me. So it's going to be what fun. What makes you think so, he's going to retire? Bro, oh, he's been, he's, talking. He been talking about really? it. He's been talking about he's really? ready to give it up. Yeah, And, and he oh. said he's not going to do the whole in the ring thing. Like He's like... He gonna have his fight, whether he win or lose. He go back, talk to his wife, and see if he want to keep going or not. He was like, ah, he was like, he ain't got no more than two years in them tops. Hey, that man went over to YouTube. He started making that YouTube. Yeah, he, was like, that he was like, he was like, hey, game. I'm lit now. He said, this is life. <laughs> yeah. He said, what you mean I gotta get punched no more? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Him and Henry is trying to do like a show together. Like, Can yeah, cringe. So, yeah, but we'll talk about that. You you gonna be on next week's pod though, yeah. Yeah, 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 because we leave on. Uh, don't worry about when I leave. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, yeah so, but there's no we be in the building. You feel me? Yeah, that's gonna be you know a cool weekend because we got that fight on Friday and then on Saturday we got the you know the very lackluster pay per view card. And Devin Devin Haney's fighting that weekend too. 
Oh, is he? Yes. Okay. Oh, yep. That's a that's cool. another that's stack weekend. Another oh, stack weekend, Loma. y'all. He beating Loma. Let's go. Hey, let me ask y'all this before we get out of here, real fast. Mm-hmm. Uh, what fight was y'all most excited for ever? Like Ooh, just man, all the so build hard, up, all, all 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 the build up to it, where you're just like your heart starts palpitating, and you're like, "Oh my god, oh my god, here we go!" Like, what fight had you the most excited to happen, Damien? You ready to spit? Let's hear it, son. I'm gonna say Conor McGregor versus you already know could be <laughs> because the whole story leading up to that it got crazier and crazier and crazier. So I was, I was super excited to see that. Like I actually made it a point to go out in public to watch it around other people who were all going for Khabib. I felt like the outcast, I was going for Connor. I felt dumb as hell leaving that. Night. <laughs> <laughs> we but, appreciate like, your honesty. The environment was like real, you know what I mean? Because everybody was like all, all out of their seats watching it, super into it as much as you were and shit. And, yeah, that that was my that was my moment. Honestly, what about you, Sky? Oh God, I mean, this is this is this is probably a this is a really tough question because I feel like there's so many conversations that you and I have had about like, oh my God, I'm so excited for this! Like this is the like I cannot wait. I and I just I can't. If I had to think, it would be. I do remember the buzz around Connor and Habib. Like it was it was massive, but I don't I don't know. I feel like it was something I feel like recency bias recency bias is getting to me. And like the la- I can only the only way I can answer this question, the last fight that I was like crazy insane excited to watch was um Charles Oliveira versus Islam. I was mm. est- I was like we were absolutely ready for that. So I can't think uh, about like the last however many years broken. that I've been watching because it's just too much. Well, what you got, CJ? I'm going to go um, Nate and Connor. Mm. Yeah, Nate and Connor. You number can one or number two? Uh, when they were throwing, when Nate was throwing the water bottles and all of that shit. And I hate saying Connor's fucking name and I hate that he be in all the bullshit, <laughs> but he brings I all know, the bullshit. He does, so you get though. excited for it. And yeah. I fuck with Nate Heavy, so probably that one. <laughs> fuck you, Connor. You've been taking everything. <laughs> everything. You've been taking everything I work for. I'm the real one. Even knows what that is. Hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> Nate's good for throwing some water bottles, ain't he? Hey, <laughs> he don't miss. He don't miss. <laughs> what about you? You still there, pussy? Hey. Oh, I knew you were gonna say that. I knew you were gonna say oh, that. Oh, you said it up well too. You said it up well. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm here. On, on a real quick side, Bro, note, you said I'm still here. Well, like, why listen, would you answer that? Wait, wait, wait listen, right listen. On on a real side note, who answers that somewhere? You still there, pussy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm still, yeah here. I'm still here. You're the scum of the earth, John. You know that? You can really turn it on. He said, Thank you. He said, Thank you. you know I would come over there and literally kill you, right? <laughs> John, let you kill me, John? You think he just let you kill me? Yeah, I think that, I mean, so for me, I think, I would think most of mine involved John Jones just because I have such disdain for him. Like, I was really debating, was it that one or even Rampage and John Jones? Because, like, the, their ultimate fighter, uh, or sorry. Um, Rashad Evans? No, no, I was going to say uh, John Jones and Rashad Evans. Mm-hmm. Um, was just crazy as well, just because that was the first time we had two people in a camp. You know what I mean? Uh, really going at it, and then someone left, you know, and that's when Greg Jackson was like this mythical fucking god in the MMA community, and now people don't really give a fuck about MMA or uh, Jackson and, and, and the Winkle John, but yeah, for me, I'm definitely going to go 100% with John Jones in DC, um, just because I just remember being so hyped, and a real quick shout out, that was the first ever thing that got Sky into MMA. Oh yeah, facts. Yeah. That facts. Jose Aldo, Conor McGregor got me into MMA. Nice. Me getting beat up by my big brother got me into MMA. Me getting beat up by my big brother <laughs> got me into MMA. <laughs> I'm telling you, like more more so WWE. I, I absolutely hated it because Jace thought that he was the Rock. 
He thought he was every character in WWE. That's who he thought he was. <laughs> you know, he believed it every single day. Like, oh, you know, nah. You know, like, oh, CJ, how's your day going? It doesn't matter how your day's going. <laughs> oh, my God. It was so annoying. Every single thing that came out your All mouth. All day fucking long. Bullshit in the realm. People's elbow. He was beating your us candy up. ass. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All the time. Like, I'm telling y'all, I was really getting beat up. Jabronis. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but but DC and John Jones, man, I was just so hyped. And then, you know, when they ran that shit back to, like, I remember the press conference where, um, you know, DC is telling, oh, oh, sorry, a couple of things about that. One, that was the first time in UFC ever did the whole, like, boxing face-to-face, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, where they had them in the oh, same room. Really? Yeah, and you go back and watch the video because you can feel the tension, you know, with just jo- with Joe Rogan? You can You can cut it with a knife. Cut it with a knife. Um, and then, like, at the big press conference, you know, when <laughs> DC was telling Jones, he was like, man, um, uh, you pussy ass nigga. And John Jones was like, bro, you just used the N bomb on me? The N bomb? <laughs> <laughs> That's when John he Jones said, was Well, the N bomb? <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. Well, that's yeah. good. I'm in. DC said, you such a bitch-ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he, he, he went back to the boot. He went back to Louisiana. Hell it he was, yes, he it was tired of being clean-cut DC Olympian. He yeah. was like, nah. Nah. Yeah, but uh, great times in MMA. But we will definitely be back on next Wednesday. We'll be breaking down the next upcoming uh, pay-per-view and 1FC. Um, we are out of here. Peace. Thank you.